day to you all. And today, I will explain the marketing of the product, the calculation of investment, cost, and revenue, and how to protect the estuaries and intertidal zone. It is so easy, but before that, I'm gonna ask you something. Do you know how can you conserve and protect the estuaries and intertidal zones? Yes, we can, and I'm gonna tell you. Take this man as an example, so that he can protect and conserve the estuaries and intertidal zone. He disposes his waste and recycles them properly. He also avoids throwing harmful substances such as oil, detergent, and paint into an estuary. Those are the things that stop the pollution of the estuaries and intertidal zone. These solutions are also a big help when we are avoiding pollution so that the fishes can stay alive and produce more fish. As you can see, the fish that I am selling right now are very fresh. So what are you waiting for, guys? Come and buy some fish now. They may be cheap, but at least you finally have a good source of food. And also, as a seller, you need to know the rules in the marketing of the product. Rule number one, choose the right container for the product. When choosing the right container for the product, it must be perfect for its size so that the product can be laid there properly. Rule number two, product placement is based on the correct weight and number. When placing products, be careful where you put them. It is because it depends on their correct weight and the number of products you are carrying. Rule number three, the products must be properly labeled. The products must be properly labeled so that the customers know what it is or what kind it is or brand it is. Rule number four, they need to be stacked properly to keep them neat. They need to be stacked properly to keep them neat because no one will buy from you if your products look so messy. Rule number five, frequent handling of the products should be avoided so that they do not get cold. You need to avoid frequent handling to your products because the more you transfer it from one place to another, the colder it gets. Great job! Now that you know the marketing of the product, I'm now going to explain the calculation of investment, cost, and revenue. As we can see, these are fishes. They live in the estuaries and intertidal zone. We bought them at the price of 198 pesos, and then we sold it at the price of 390 pesos. So the 198 pesos will be our cost, and the 390 pesos will be our investment. So, if we subtract the 198 to the 390 pesos, that will be 192 pesos, and the 192 pesos will be our revenue. Great learning! Now, before I end the video, I'm going to tell you the difference between the economic policy from before and now. Before, they used barter, where they trade their products with someone for another one. Now, they do online selling, market selling, and uses money to buy stuff. And their difference is, the barter doesn't use money, but online and market selling does. Okay, that's all for today. I am Jal Candy Tabuso. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.